I tell you what, he passed me one night. Like I was six, 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 six. Oh my goodness. Look what we got here. Good Lord, that thing loud. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Follow his Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> this thing, look at this scat. Got that good pro charger going. Eventually, I'll get my car to this right here. Yes, indeed. This thing clean. You got a lower. Yeah, this joint nice, man. Yeah, this joint right. Oh, man, got everything on this joint. Methanol. Crazy. <laughs> I like this color too. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah. Mine came with them joints. Okay, yeah, yeah. 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 The front. Yeah. The biggest, the biggest bang for your buck on a stock 392, or even on a 57, is this guy right here. Pro but then when you go to the next level, you're gonna see your dollar amount kind of like almost triple, and you're gonna look at your horsepower and you go. Oh, okay. That wasn't my <laughs> yeah, like my yeah. Wife yes, that's what I said. I'm so, like, <laughs> <laughs> there are things this that you're doing to get the more horsepower. So, like going to the forks and turtles, okay, that's $2,500 in pistons and rods. If you can do the work yourself, it's just a $2,500 in parts, and it's just you doing the work. But right. you have to pay a machine shop. The average machine shop's anywhere from five to a thousand dollars. You go to you have the downtime, seven weeks. At the most, especially in the off season, off season is the worst time because everybody's doing it. Right. right. But then you look at that and you go, well, I spent that money and these pistons should give me more horsepower. Well, the pistons aren't going to give you the more horsepower. The pistons are going to allow you to, to make, to more, make horsepower. more horsepower. So it's kind of like when you when you factor in your build and you build your car and you bought a set of drag wheels, right? And drag wheels, everybody's looking at drag wheels. When you buy a complete set, it's like 1600 bucks, no tires. Right. Then you buy the tires, you're another two grand. So you look at it and you're like, fuck, I bought $2,600 worth of wheels. This car better drop five tenths. But then you got to factor in weight of the car. Yeah. Now, our cars, literally like your car, mm -hmm. bone stock with a tire on the back, it'll run 11.8 with nothing mm -hmm. done to it. Yeah. But you'll see guys that have gone and they got an email tune and they still run at the same time. Yeah. Because the tuner really can't give you any more. All he did was change some parameters. The parameters you want them to stay away from are the transmission parameters. Because the minute they start playing with the torque management, that's when this transmission says, I'm out of here. <laughs> and it's the truth. You see the ones that have done it on the forums, they won't really admit to it, but you find out who their tuner was, and their tuner likes to try to get them more and more and more. Mm -hmm. Well, when you start taking it, because the transmission literally has a safety in it. So like on the dyno, when she didn't like what she saw, she bah. shut Brent down. She said, nope. <laughs> yep. Now, if Brent turns that <laughs> off, that'll never happen. And then you're going down the track, and at any gear, Oof. the transmission could say, I'm out of here. And we've all seen what Hondas look like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.